Without further ado, let's start the game. Welcome, Can welcome, you everybody. Hey. Can you hear me? Come back. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay, just just checking. My settings didn't fuck up. So, who would like to go over where we're at and what's going on this time? Also, who would like to run Ren today? Uh, Zin, obviously, God. <laughs> Anybody right. can, but if nobody wants to, I'm happy to do it. I think I have Zen zero is desire. good at it. <laughs> yeah, you've been doing it thus far. All right. Yeah. But if uh, somebody would like to give uh, our couple viewers a, uh, yeah. a rundown where we're at. I can do that. We're trying to find Skull Fort right now. Um, last session, we ended up fighting, fighting a bunch of spiders. And what are those other things called? I can't remember. They look like clackers, but they're not. Like <laughs> Gross. Uh, they, they it's are like, like the zombies that have the mushrooms uh, on their faces. What? Uh, oh, no, that? I think he's calling clackers from the Drist series. They have like the long, sharp. Um, kind of arms that they yeah, walk around on. That. Oh, you mean the hook horse? It's Quagoth. It's, it's yeah, quagoth those, yeah. Is what yeah it is, it's a yeah. Quagoth. Okay. They, they don't look like hook whores. What are you talking about? I just about? meant more like the uh, like two legs, two hands, like longer claws. Oh, so humanoid-esque? I guess. Gotcha. <laughs> but like humanoid with extras. Yeah. Um, anyway, so they we fought those. Uh, we were, it turns out we we're going the wrong way. So we're trying to take a different direction. We freed some prisoners and killed some. Sorry. What are those things called? A drow? I don't know. No. Yeah, well, the drow. We didn't kill drow. a drow. It's whatever the other things are that we're fighting. That. You also killed a couple drow. <laughs> oh yes, yes. The one that you burned. In his cell, it was amazing. In his cell. Yeah. So we finished doing that, and we now know that there is more. And we're trying to prepare for a basically a big fight that we're going to try to get in on them. <laughs> That's where we're at. Okay. Um, you guys also met Lurash, this hobgoblin here, uh, yes. along with Geldax, uh, who is a regular commoner. There's also a door here. And as you all start to head up towards uh, the fight you know is coming, you hear a knock on this door from inside. One sec, I gotta turn on my hardware acceleration for, for Chrome, because it's lagging. Could also just be roll 20, man, so Saturday afternoon. Uh, yeah, usually this fixes it because I, I turn it off because it uses eats up a lot of power for what I'm gaming. But if I'm just playing D and D, this is the gaming. Yeah, there we go, much better. Okay, so we hear a, dock, a knock at that door. Yes, at this door here. Is it a solid door? Like, is there? Can I see through it at all? Potentially, it like, is. It bars? is completely solid. Unlike the other uh, ones, they they all were just uh, like cell doors, barred, iron bars. This one, however, this one is solid. You hear a knock. Is it locked? Or can it I tell is. if it's locked? Hello? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sounds like somebody gagged. Sounds like a good time in there. Valorant. Somebody Valorant. that the drow don't like, clearly. This sounds exactly like what you sounded like when you had a tongue depressor in when you were arrested. Ah, so they're mocking me. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, I'm just being an ass. Um, I, so I would hypothesize to the party that potentially it's a, a fellow spellcaster who might be of benefit to us. And we have limited exposures. There aren't a whole lot of spells that I can think of that are purely vocal. There are some, though. Yeah. Zin will nod. Um, and he'll start to kind of come up to the door. But he'll, like, usher Ren to be close by. 
Um, and and uh, he'll attempt to lockpick it. Sure. Give me a. Uh... I'm assuming it it looks or looks like it's lockpickable, not like a magical lock that I can tell. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, give me a um, um, thieves' tools check. With the can I do guidance? Sure. Sweet. That BG brain, guys. Huh? Yeah, she's a pro now. She's been playing Baldur's Gate. Uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, I don't have an advantage. Doesn't matter. Sweet. So I pick the lock and it opens. As the as the door swings open, you see on the other side. Uh, I believe it's a tiefling. Hold on a sec. No, it is a sun elf. You see a strange looking elf. Um, the skin seems to kind of glow with a a low radiance. Uh, kind of doesn't really light up the room, but it makes the rest of the room harder to see. <laughs> Starts to scream and back up as she sees you front and center. Uh, Zin will realize this because he just kind of went through that scenario just recently. Like, no, 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 no. It's I, I'm I'm not with them. I'm uh, I don't come from. From the Underdark, I come from up above. Lorash backs you up. This is true. He released us. We're going to fight <clears throat> the priestess and her followers. She starts to visibly relax. She, uh, hesitantly, she does come up towards the doorway. And As in walk over. Oh, go ahead. You see, uh, you see that she's got the same kind of, uh, not not the same style, but a uh, tongue depressor in her mouth. Um, however, you also notice that uh, from the mouth there seems to be uh, a fair amount of blood. Uh, she's kind of like uh, she can't really say much, so she's kind of just like, you know, looking at you and then um, kind of making her eyes go down as if like you know towards this kind of going cross-eyed trying to look at the the tongue depressor yeah so zen will kind of walk up and they'll start to like slowly reach over to her just like looking at her make sure it's okay towards the tongue de like the t tongue de depressor apparatus i don't know exactly what they look like but so it basically looks like it's got two bars uh one coming like uh, it, it all seems connected to the back of the head there's a bar that comes kind of left and one that comes right towards the tongue depressor and one that comes like um, from the center of it over the top of her head to the back. Uh, she she turns gotcha. and you can see that there is a uh, a lock on the back of it. I will uh, attempt to gingerly pick that lock. Guidance. I mean, it, it, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's concentration for 10 minutes, isn't it? I think he's always oh, oh yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, you're right, you're right. Okay. Um That's good. You unlock it. And uh you also notice that her hands are bound as well. I'll uh, I'll unlock those as well. Okay. Another one. You failed to pick this one. Did I break my lockpick? You did not. It's not on that one. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, can I attempt it again? Uh huh. Yeah, after your first attempt, this seems uh, rather easy. You can't believe you made such a silly mistake. And it pops off. And <laughs> as the, the shackles pop off, they fall directly to the ground. And she kind of puts her hands up, and she reaches for the um, the apparatus on her head. And first, she uh, 
pulls the top bar over and you hear the, the hinge squeak, but she holds it in place. She pulls, uh, she uses her other hand to pull the other two towards the front. And, uh, and then she kind of like leans forward, almost hunched over a little bit. And you can see the pain on her face as she pulls this thing upwards before pulling it out. And the mouthful of blood that spills onto the ground afterwards, and she gives a cry of pain. Uh, and you can see that uh, as she drops it to the ground, um, there are, are uh, half-inch spikes, three of them, in this um, in this tongue depressor. Thank you, she says with a swollen tongue uh, as the blood continues to pour from her mouth. Can I just, like, slowly walk over to her and lightly tap her, like, with my, my, um, staff? You're gonna, okay, yeah, sure. Like, it's a healing staff. Yeah. I mean, she might not know that, though. <laughs> he... Well, that's why I said, like, I'll go slowly, like, I'm not gonna just rush in and, like, wave it in her face, but, like, <laughs> she... I'll just let her know, like, I let me help you. She kind of seems a little hesitant as you reach your staff towards her, um, but she she seems to let you do it. What are you doing as you do that? Which uh, which spell? Uh, it's cure wounds. I'm just opening my character sheet. Yep. Then that's a nice nice portrait you have. Are you aligned now? Oh, it changed. <laughs> I had it right. I must have clicked the tab again. Um, you, as the the blood stops to uh, stops kind of flowing from her mouth as you use this staff upon her. Thank you. Oh, coming down here was such a mistake. What brought you down? I was... I made the mistake of being... quite... curious... of the drow culture. I was hoping to join the ranks of House... Uh, uh, Avrindar. Avrindar? I'm just gonna do this. But I was captured and locked up instead, so... I mean, I guess... I guess that was a mistake. Apparently they don't want somebody like me. They don't see any value in, in me, I guess, because of the shade of my skin. They don't see any value in me either. <laughs> and my skin seems to match theirs. Oh. Well, maybe you just need to prove yourself, then. Yeah, that's that's not my style. <laughs> I'm not really into into their lifestyle. The culture does not fascinate me. Oh, you, you don't like spiders and, and, you know, matriarchs? Ray just hears the word spider and, like, <laughs> cringes. And, and killing and, and betrayal and hiding and poison yeah those things sound fantastic sarcastically i'm saying it's all about power you know so i take it if you've released us you've probably killed them all yes not yet but you might help us with that if you're of a mind given what they've done to you hmm. okay i could do that Lorash pipes up. He, he's been is sitting there kind of tapping his foot. Are we ready now? Can we go? Or do you need to still play with this little elf? I, uh, I think we're ready to go. Good. And he just it's starts great. heading through the door. I'll follow him, but as I go, I'll say to the sun elf, I'm sorry, I don't think we caught your name. 
Uh, my name is Valoran. This is Zin and Bray, and that's our friend Ren. Oh, I'm Marta Moonshadow. Pleasure to meet you, Valoran and Ray and Ren and Zin. And whatever that creature is. Oh, that's my Al Hoodie. And she was regarding the uh, Hobgoblin. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Never mind. It's not my Al Hoodie. She, uh, Lurash gets through the door and he starts trying to move this spider. Uh, unfortunately, he is not able to move the entire body by himself. Redden can help him. Uh, yeah, with uh, their powers combined, the spider moves. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> it's Captain Strength. Um, so before you lies this door. Um, this one does seem to have uh, again many dwarven visages on it. However, they all seem to have been damaged in some way. Um, whether there's it's scratched out or simply you know. Uh, you know, the, the nose and mouth that protrudes from the door has been broken off. Just for clarification, I'm just peeking my head around the door so I can see, but maintain maximum cover. Okay. How breakable does the door seem to Ren? It is a rock. Kick it. And it so seems... Not breakable. Yeah, no, it, it, it's it's a solid dwarven built door. Like this, this entire area uh, was was dwarven made. Okay, does it look like a push or a pull from what she can sell? Looks like a push. All right, she's gonna take one last glance at the party and like a little be ready nod, and she's gonna push through the door. Ray just like looks over and gives her like two thumbs up and is like a super excited face. All right. Well, that's what y'all do, huh? I like it. You like it because we're going to pay? <laughs> <laughs> uh, give me one second. Just let me... Yeah. You won't like me when I'm crying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your tears sustain me. <laughs> so... As you, as Ren opens this door. You guys notice several pillars. Along with some stairs leading up to a, a dais. Dais? I can never remember the pronunciation of that word. It's dais, you had it right. Alright, stands, uh, this dais stands atop a, uh, wow. Um, let me try this one more time. A female drow, which is then you can give me a history advantage, stands atop a raised dais at the back of the hall, presiding over a group of drow. However, you've noticed that. Sorry. Uh, no. <laughs> The, the upper area of the room is full of webs, and you notice the troglodytes, those strange creatures uh, who were mining that ran from you, stand in a line near the front of the room, seemingly waiting for you all. Scores of tarantula-sized baby giant spiders creep and crawl throughout the room. Stone pillars hold up 30-foot-high arched ceilings, which is concealed by a thick canopy of spider webs, strung between the pillars and bas-relief carvings of towering dwarves protruding from the walls are humanoid corpses cooned in spider silk. The back wall of the temple is carved with a towering bas-relief of a mountain, lashed to the mountain with sticky webs is a struggling and gagged male drow with sacks of spider silk clinging to his body. 
like a sacrifice? Uh, possibly. Hold on a second. Let me see which one this is. So I can put them where you're supposed to be. I thought they were all enemies. These do not sound like nice people. Did you guys open the door? This one, the female one. One seems to be in charge, and with your history and her garb, pretty sure she's probably a priestess of Lolth. She walks to the front of the dais. Ah, our visitors have finally arrived. Seems they've even released a prisoner or two. Hmm. How interesting. Well. I guess it's time to give Lalda some more sacrifices. Roll your initiatives. Please. Uh, before I do that, where can I put Ren? What do you mean? I said she pushed through the door. So she's oh. walking forward as she's opening the door. So am I allowed to put her just past the doorway? You know what I mean? Yeah, I'll put her right there. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> I shall go. All right, you may all roll your initiatives. Also, I need to roll one, two, three, four. Uh, as Ren is the only one in the room, she can roll a perception, please. Ren is aware that, wait, does this room not have any fucking, it should be light in this room. You guys only see a few feet into this room. Yep. Well, I, from my angle, I can't yeah. see much, so, but Ren can see to like this. Well, let me figure something out here. I'll place a light. She's not very lit, but there should be some light. All right. There we go. That's pretty decent. <clears throat> Actually, I should see how far they are. Eight. There we go, that's better. Got it.
shit, I actually just closed one of them. change the music and we'll be ready to go <clears throat> well let's see uh fortunately for ren a couple of them three of them in fact get some surprise rounds Perception was pretty bad. Son of a bitch. Keep hitting wrong buttons. Well, if you might get lucky, these are going to have to all be a disadvantage. What is it that Sounds they like a good have? Uh, I mean, hand crossbows and thrown weapons have a much shorter range than you oh, know, yeah, yeah, a regular yeah. crossbow, right? That's totally fair. All of a sudden, three crossbow bolts come winging at Ren. What's her AC? 16. Wow. Okay. Um, she manages to block two of them with her axe, and the third simply goes wide. Where they come back in. And do a couple more stealth rolls. Okay. Zen, you're up. You hear the crossbow right. bolts go off. And I don't think I rolled Larash in or the other one. Mm, that's fair. I'll wait a minute just in case they roll really well. No, oh, go ahead. Okay. Um, I can get through the doorway, right? Yeah. Okay. Thirty. I'll move to there. Okay. Um. <clears throat> uh, do I notice anything when I enter the room before I start shooting at things? Give me a perception. You're pretty sure you can see uh, a drow here, a drow here, and a drow here. You okay. also see the spiders up on the roof, and you see these two at the front, as well as this dude struggling against the webs at the back of the room. Okay. Sounds good. Um... <clears throat> I will use my bonus action to a command Yukina to uh, to kill everything, and then uh, I will. I think I'm actually going to try to shoot the spider that's a little farther back. I have good sight of that, correct? You do. All right, we're going to do that. <clears throat> that's a hit. Sweet. I get no fun stuff on this. Nope. You can, I cannot see you. Nope. Yeah. 12. And I can't use my hunter's mark. And uh, I will fire again. Uh, yep. That's a hit as well. Uh, 
uh, with your two arrows, uh, one of these spiders um, begins to fall from the webs above. Uh, he slams into the ground. And as he does, the legs begin to curl up in front of him. Sick. Yeah, literally. No bonus action? I used it to command Yukina, so once my turn ends, Yukina can kind of get in there. Oh, you did? I, I didn't hear you. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I, I commanded Yukina to kill everything, so I have to use my bonus action for that. Oh, okay. <sighs> All right. So she'll, she'll come in. Well, you <laughs> the first uh, spider in the turn order you killed. Oh, I just meant Yukina's turn, because she can Yeah, yeah, no, no, I, I, I'm just... Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, sick. That was the first one. Nice. Yep. Okay. Uh, she'll bite here. Sure. Yeah, this thing is not wearing any armor, so she gets her teeth sunk into its kneecap pretty quickly. It, uh... It screeches in a language uh, you cannot understand. Well, that's not good. And th sorry, uh, just for clarification, those were the ones that did throw the axes at us, correct? Or whatever they were? No, they ran away. It was the oh, drow the that you were fighting. Oh, shit. These things okay. ran away. They they were mining. But now it seems like they, uh, once they got into this room, they they kind of, you know, made a blockade. Um, they have their... Uh, they, they've dropped their mining picks, but they have some nasty-looking claws and shark-like teeth. It is Ren's turn, though. You are muted, sir, so I don't know what you're clicking on uh, or why. God. Sorry, I said one quick question. Because she's thrown the lightning javelin as a lightning javelin before, she knows it's five feet wide. So if she were to throw it at this guy, uh huh, would it hit one or two of these guys that she would, like, from her cons, what she was thinking? Hmm. Oh, that's, I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, so it's under the measure measure tool. That's really freaking cool. There's okay. one called beam. So you got your line, square, circle, cone, and beam. And you set the, the width of it. So it would hit this one here. You're muted again, by the way. Damn it. Okay. She's uh, she's going to throw the lightning javelin at this one in the back after her rage. Okay. Rage with bonus action. Throw the lightning javelin with her first action. All right. Let's, uh, let's see it. So does that get rage as well? Or no? Uh... I don't know how that works because it's a melee weapon, but it's not a... It's an ability, so... Uh, the... It, it's only weapon, during sorry. melee attacks, I believe. Okay, so yeah, okay. So then it's just the four d six. You know what? Post your rage, just to be sure. I think it's only melee though. I I wouldn't doubt it. Or melee or thrown weapons or weapon attacks maybe. Uh, where is rage? Oh, Barbarian with a Rage. What a shame. Uh, yeah, right? Oh, shoot. That's why. I was looking at the wrong sheet. I'm so smart. 
melee weapon attack using strength. Okay, yeah, so she's just going to throw it. It's just 4d6. Uh, she um, should have something in there for it, does she not? Like, under her attacks? Uh, uh. Uh. Yep. Okay. Hurlis speaks command word, transforms a bolt lightning form 5 foot uh, within 120 feet. Each creature in the line excluding you and the target. All right, so that trog needs to make a deck save. Uh, success. So, half as much of 23. <laughs> Holy fuck. Of three. And then the end target just takes just takes it cause if it hits as an attack basically. Uh Failed to save house much on a hit. Target takes 46 lightning. Uh, so because it already it's a crit and it already rolled the 46, uh, which was a massive fucking roll, by the way. Yeah, it is. And well, I just it, I didn't know because it has an attack roll to it as well. So it's like I don't. Yeah, know so I, like if you look in the description and chat there, you see how it's got like right next to 46. Your mouse yeah, over the, the green number. Yeah, and then if you go further down, there's one that says uh, 4d6 again. Oh. Yeah. All right. So the troglodyte. Troglodyte has is looking extremely weak as it its body shakes and quivers as it's just shaking, and you can see the flesh start to bubble and boil. Um, before it, it, it kind of like looks exhausted and it's one eye is like shut and, and the other one's kind of like half popped. Um, the teeth have kind of started to fall out a little bit, but it streaks towards the other guy. God damn, bro. Does he have anything for that? <laughs> Hold on a second. He has no reaction. Hey, wow. No reaction to that. Fair enough. So, let's see. 23, that's 33. God damn. Uh, this damn. javelin of lightning strikes him square in the chest. Uh, he is going to do a... You know what? No, he's not going to. He is simply going to fly 10 feet back and go prone on the ground. As this spear... Sorry, this javelin launches him. And then... Is this a... Does it return or no? It's not... Under... Uh, so, no, no. It's it's uh, the javelin's inside of him now. Or, or like inside or through him, whatever you want it to do. Um but uh, it the ability restores at each dawn, so she'll have to make sure she picks it up. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, he is pierced with this very large javelin of lightning. Um, he kind of, like, shakes a bit as, as he uh, uh, hits the ground, convulsing. She got another attack? Yeah, so this now she's going to step... Or can she pull out her axe and attack one of the close ones now? I was assuming she already had it in her hand. I mean, you can hold yeah. a, an, an axe oh, yeah, yeah. in one okay, hand cool. and, and use a, and use your other hand to throw, right? Okay, yeah. Sorry, first time using thrown weapons. Um, yeah, so she's going to step forward. She's going to swing at this one. Recklessly. Sure. Uh, that one's already hurt, so. Very, gonna, very hurt. Going to finish it off. Yeah, she she comes rushing in. This one just brings her axe straight down on his head, uh, bisecting this creature. Um, both awesome. have split to the side, and the other troglodytes around kind of screech. <laughs> it kind of sounds a little bit of fear mixed in with uh, with anger. Awesome, and that will be her turn. Go 
one steps out here. Hey, Squatchy. He didn't like how his last one went, so let's see. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30? Nope. Would have got properly within range. Uh, he lets off one more hand crossbow bolt. Oh! Double nat 20s. God damn. I should have fucking Yikes. stayed back to roll to roll that one. Anyways, she takes uh, 9 piercing, minus resistance, and needs to make a con saving throw, please. Come on, con save. Oh, no advantage. A 10? Uh, you mean a 27? Oh, right, right. Yeah, uh, she passes. Uh, he's going to drop his crossbow and pull out a sim uh, short sword. Uh, this she this one's also going to shoot a crossbow bolt at her. Okay. Yep. She takes six piercing damage. Give me a con save. Ray, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> I was trying to measure something. What, what were you measuring? 150 feet? <laughs> Uh, six piercing minus resistance. Uh, passes the con save. Yep. Ray. Okay, I am going to do some things. I'm going to move. And I am... Okay, sorry, I was just measuring distance and everything. Okay, so I'm going to um, cast Moonbeam over this guy. Sorry, over who? That one? All right. Post the spell and then the uh, attack. Five foot radius. Okay. All right, con save. Fails. Roll me your damage. Thirteen. You drop a moonbeam. Uh, 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 as you cast your spell, a beam of light seemingly drops from nowhere. And engulfs this creature. And then can we draw it out? Because I can move it around. There you go. Okay, perfect. And then I'm just gonna just uh, maybe slide right back outside the door, but like giving everyone space still. So I'll go mm -hmm. on that side. And that's my turn. Okay. <laughs> um, as you do this, and the beam co comes out of nowhere and engulfs him. He's kind of, kind of gives a look of confusion at first. All of a sudden, you hear ah 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 ah, 
as he starts to burst into uh, white flames. Is it because he's from the Underdark? No, these guys just don't have a lot of HP. <laughs> oh, I was like thinking in my head, I'm like, is it because it's the moon and like they don't go outside? <laughs> no, um, it's not sunlight. So it, uh, 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 you would have knowledge that drow do have sunlight sensitivity. However, there's only a couple spells that can actually cause sunlight sensitivity without them being outside. Um, the spell literally has to say daylight, uh, like not the name. Like even the the spell daylight doesn't work. It has to it has to have uh, specific wording for it to actually trigger that in raw rules. Gotcha. Okay, yeah, makes sense. Troglodyte. This one is going to step in. Um, upset that Ren just beheaded his ally. Oh, fight. Oh. Oh. oh, okay. Whoops. What'd I do? Oh, that's not it. Oh, no. What'd I do? Oh, there we are. All right, so miss. Uh, it, it swipes at her with its claws and uh, misses, but as a follow through, it bites into her arm, reopening some old uh, wounds that Ray or Ren herself had made. Uh, three piercings, so half of that is one. Okay. Um, and as she's kind of like reeling from this particular bite, uh, it then uses its claws to dig into her ribs. She takes, uh, after resistance, two slashing damage. Yep. They are getting the better of you, fools. Hurry up and kill them, she says. And I forgot she was up next. I probably should have looked at... Oh, man. Oh, man. She's got some shit. Hey, hey. The range on that, 60 feet, huh? I don't think she's within range. She's not. This is fun, though. 20 foot radius sphere centered on a point you choose, huh? Within 300 feet. Hey, Zin, can you do me a favor and give me one of them circles at uh, 20 foot radius? So I can uh, draw that in. Yeah. I can do that. Just put it anywhere. I can move the circle afterwards. Yeah, yeah. They just uh, changed my stuff a little bit. Oh, the uh, the, uh, there it is. The ruler wasn't popping out. Oh, that's circle. a glitch. It happens from time to time. Uh, 20 foot radius. There we go. Perfect. Thank you, sir. Yeah. All around, Ren, Yukina, uh, Zin, Ray, Lurash. A swarm of insects starts to materialize and begins 
biting at your flesh. When the area appears, each creature in it must make a con saving throw. So, Ren, you can, uh, uh, Zin, Ray. I will do Lure Ashes. On save. Oof. Oh, I don't have advantage, sorry. 15. Uh, that's fine, you pass. Ren passes, Zin passes, Ray fails, uh, Lurash fails. Yukina? Yep, she rolled. She's 11. Oh, I see it. Uh, she failed. Yeah. So, let's see. Half damage on a success. 26 damage on a fail. So, Ray, 26 damage. You can have 26 damage. Ray, you, you hear uh, Lurash, ah, these insects, ah, as he collapses dead. He was very useful. He was ready for this fight, he thought. He was, in fact, fucking not. Uh, did Ren pick way of the bear? I believe she did, I think. So she has resistance, so she'll yes. take half of she, that? Yeah, she will take half of the half because Got she it, succeeded. Understood. So, uh. Yeah. She'll take six, then round it down. Yep. 13 divided by two. Okay. All right, let's see. What else happens with that? Um, saving throw when it enters the spell's area for the first time on a turn or ends its turn there. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> she is then going to move to cover. And does that spell like linger? It sure does for 10 minutes. Okay. Giant spider creeps along the ceiling. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, actually. It's going to stop here along the roof. Sorry, here along the roof. <laughs> it aims at Ren. Shoots web. From its back end. She is restrained until she takes uh, an action to get out of it. With a strength check. Valoran. You see this swarm of bugs stop just before you. I just want to go home now. You can go fuck up my strategy. I had a plan. It went to shit. Yeah, I figured. Yeah, I, I was pretty sure I knew exactly what you were going to do if you had the spell slot for it. Yeah, that uh, that bug thing is a is a hell of a barrier to what I had planned on doing. Yeah, it sure is, isn't it? Bitch. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're going to Give it a shot anyway. And pray for the best. Alright, what do you got? Hang on, my screen just went black. Did you mean to walk into it? Yep. Okay. Give me, con sir, save. your con save. Give me a sec, I could reload my screen, my computer just crapped. Yep. Sorry, y'all.
Tells me it's still mapping dungeons, but it does look like it's moving. Let me try and climb back in through Mozilla for Firefox. Okay, you take 19. Uh, was it piercing? 19 piercing damage. Um, this light, this area is lightly obscured, which means it does shorten your sight range. Want to guess what happens next? You may try. No, no, I don't get to try. Something else happens first. <laughs> yeah, so the, what was that? Chrono Shift you were using there? No, no, no. What what happens first is I turn into a werewolf. Oh, shit. Oh, no. And you do not have the... Uh... Yeah, you got the no. lust for the hunt flaw. Yeah, and I can't use silvery barbs on it because it's not a attack roll, so fuck me. Yep. That's a shame. Uh, when you are in your hybrid form, you must succeed a DC 10 wisdom saving throw at the beginning of each turn, or you lose control. So it does specify the beginning of the turn, and you turn to the middle of your turn, so... Okay. Do I lose control then? Um, right now you still have control. Okay. But I'm basically a werewolf and I can't do anything useful, so... Yeah, you got no spells. Are you... Are you gonna move at least? Uh, fuck me. Um... I can't move forward to get far enough away from the party. I'll move back to Ray. You watch as uh, he begins to transform. His his shoulder blades start to snap, and his arm kind of dislocates and kind of goes down to one knee. He's, he, ah, ah, as his body starts to morph, bones crack, sinew tears, flesh rips apart to reveal fur underneath and he kind of enlarges by a few inches and um and he starts swatting at these bugs that are all around him and then he gets out of the uh out of the room he turns and runs from the bugs and i will tell the owl to attack me And that's the end of my turn. Do you have your faculties? I think you do, right? Uh, I think I do if I make the, the roll. You want your owl to attack you? Well, to harry me. How's that? Okay. Okay. Sure. So happens your owl's turn is next. You get a feeling of confusion at this this order but it starts to flap around your head and that is the owl's turn too okay another spellcaster oh what fun
What does this do again? Standing up, he removes the uh, the javelin of lightning from his body, throws it to the ground, uh, holds a holds his hand over the uh, gaping chest wound. You will pay for that. He steps forward to the front of the dais, and he begins to wave his arm. Vocal in, yeah, somatic arm waving. So he begins to wave his arm and in these strange movements as he uh, starts to chant something in uh, drow speak. As he does, Ren, Jesus Christ, that washing machine, bro, it's shaking my whole fucking room. Um, Ren, uh, Zin, I, I feel like you wouldn't be able to hear with the bugs buzzing around, but Ren, you can hear uh, hear the priestess shout, take them alive so we have more more sacrifices for Lolth. He nods, and he releases a spell. Let's see, that's another 20 foot radius. This one is a bright green. We were not prepared. Yeah, you're really not prepared. Um... So, 5d8, and I need a constitution save from Ren, from Yukina, Zen, and Ray. Okay, Ren passes. Damn, Yukina passes. Ray passes. Yay. Zen passes. All right, uh, half as much on a successful one. Okay. Nineteen poison damage cut in half, um, cut in a quarter for Ren. So. Zin, that is nine. Ray, yeah. nine. You can have poofs. And four for Ren. Yep, yep. Now, that stays. Bog moves ten feet away from you at the start of each of your turns. Okay. Rolling along the surface of the ground, the vapors being heavier than air. Okay. Very well. He chuckles, and he also goes to find some cover. See, he was here. He's used half his movement. Oh, he cannot get to cover. He can move one more spot. <laughs> Marta Moonshadow. Oh, Jesus, she's a caster, too. Let's see. What do we got here? Oh, wow. Really? God damn. What a shame. Uh, 
Yeah, you guys are really not prepared for this, and I am so sorry for that. She is going to walk in to here. The 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. As she walks in, she's going to do, I believe they're both con saves. Yes, Cloud Kill was a con save, yeah. and the other one was a con save as well. Yep, two con saves. All right, so she fails the. <clears throat> excuse me, the uh, insect plague it was four d ten. Oh, it's difficult terrain. So she doesn't quite get that far. Five, ten, fifteen. So she gets to here. So, 4d10 and 5d8. So, she takes the full 24. She, you can hear her as she uh, gets into the doorway, Zin and Ray. Uh, uh, as... She kind of barrels through it. Um, you can see multiple spots open up on her bleeding. However, she did succeed that one, so she takes half of that, which is... Oh, damn. Wow. That almost killed her. However, she's going to then Misty Step. Oops, that is the wrong stat block. Zen, over the din of these flying insects. You hear, I will show you I am worthy to join you. And she's going to use magic missile on at a fourth level, I think. Oops, that is not the right one. That's the right one. Magic Missile. So, three at first level. Second, third, fourth. So she gets six D4s. At me, correct? No, at um, Ren. So, uh, 11 plus, uh, it's a plus one for each dart, so that is 17. Um, take half of that away. Okay, halfway. Seven, eight, nine, eight. Uh, with that, it is this one's turn. Can he see you, Zin? He cannot. But he could see Ren. He misses with a crossbow bolt at Ren. Or 
Ash is dead. Oh, I keep forgetting people have uh, advantage against Ren. Uh, I don't think that's yet. the only time it was relevant. Yeah, was that one? Um, this one, however, can't really do much. Actually, yes, he can. Oh my god, this fucking washing machine! My entire desk is shaking, man. My fucking screen is just like going up and down. <laughs> um. This spider is going to use a web at you, sir. Zen. With a miss. Uh, you managed to, uh, at the last moment, see this web coming flying at you, and you step to the side. Managed to uh, avoid it. Alright, let's see. Can he get out? Oh, yes, he can. Valoran, give me a perception. Mm -hmm. You hear voice coming from down this direction. No, no, no. And then a scream. Oof. Troglodyte's gonna move here, advantage on Ren. Wow. Uh, so after resistance, four slashing on Ren. Yep. This one's going to come out. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty. And he see. He can. Uh, even with advantage. Uh, oh no, uh, her AC is 16, right? Yes. On save, as she takes seven piercing. Minus resistance. All right, she is still conscious, but she still takes damage. This tro troglodyte is also going to uh, <clears throat> attack her. Uh... Hit, hit, and hit. So one piercing, <clears throat> two slashing, and two more piercing. That's after resistance. Sorry. I don't know why I keep switching it like that. Yeah, pick one and stick with it, <laughs> mister. <laughs> my bad. Make my life real hard. Yeah, sorry. So so after resistance, one piercing, uh, two, and two, two slashing, so and total. two piercing. Yeah. Yep. Zen, it's your turn. Okay. Oh, um, wait. Give me a sec. I just need to make sure cloud kill... Doesn't trigger at the start of your turn. Starts its turn there. Give me another con save. Just roll the damage. I might just be down. Well, it's it's only five d eight. I mean, there's there's a chance if no, you have it. No, it's four d ten. No, that that's Where's for that that's insect one? plague. That starts if you that don't that doesn't hit at the start of your turn. Sure. I am down.
Alright. Ren, she may take an action to try and get out, although she is also in Cloud Kill. Yep. So, a quarter of that, so what? Four. Four? <laughs> Take an action. Uh, athletics. Yes, please. Yep. Yeah. Uh, as she's taking all these hits and she starts to struggle, or she's been struggling against it, finally, like all these hits. Uh, by the way, she went below half health, didn't she? Yeah, so shots are all con for that. Mm hmm. Uh, I believe her save is really high at this point, isn't it? I thought she failed one recently and it resets after. I don't know, though. Uh, she did just fail one recently. Most like cancer if you don't mind. She just turned into one. Alright, let's see. Time, keep track what DC. Once DC reaches 20, you will have to that me. Uh, I don't. Moon, yada. I don't see anywhere where it says it beats that. Track of DC. Oh, yeah, I know. It doesn't. So, yeah, she's turned. Okay. So if you right click uh, on her token, I believe I've got it set that she actually has a secondary token. Go down to multi sided. Yep. I got it. Sorry, Val. I haven't been able to set it up for you yet. I feel the love. <laughs> so she turns. Uh, when she turns, is she still raging? Yeah. Um, ra raging doesn't. Um, yeah, I doesn't don't despair. know how it works. So yeah, fair enough. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't despair. Okay. Um, but she does bust uh, as she transforms. The webs are unable to hold her, and she busts out. And the troglodytes uh, around are surprised and scared as she busts out, and she's no longer a half orc, but this hulking, um, hulking wolf-like creature. She roars in its face. What do you want to do? Um, she can't take potions, right? She's, um, she's yeah. a level two. I think she maintains her back. Oh no! It all it, everything she's wearing, I believe, uh, melds into her Turn. form. Yeah, yeah. So she can't. Okay. Uh. Gonna move here and take an attack of opportunity. Oh, I forgot one more thing. She's within five feet of a troglodyte. Uh, give me one sec. She needs to make one more savage. con save. Hey, Savage? Yeah. I'm looking at her sheet and it says the armor melts in, but it says while transformed, you can use weapons and equipment as normal unless specified elsewhere. Uh, weapons, yes. And equipment. And equipment. Honest engine. I mean, if it says equipment, then yeah, I would uh, I would call bag of holding equipment. Okay. Yeah. So uh, she rolled nineteen for the con save. <clears throat> okay. Uh, then she is not poisoned, uh, and she is immune to the stench of the troglodytes for one hour. Nice. Okay. Uh, attack of opportunity on her. Indeed. Just one. <clears throat> All right, let's see. All right, troglodyte. Gonna bite at her. 
Uh, does not have advantage, so it misses. Okay. Um, she'll pop a greater healing potion. Okay. Uh, with a bonus action, because she doesn't have an action. Sure. Drop that roll. Uh, there it is. Very nice. Oh, well, semi nice. <laughs> two, two maxes and two mins. Yeah. It's something, though. What's the command to talk to GM? Uh, slash W, uh, space, space GM, GM, I think. Okay. And that's all Ren's turn. Okay. Yeah, one triggers at the start of your turn if, if you're in it. The other triggers at the end. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to ask. I didn't want to, like, say it in front of everybody. But yeah, no, no. I, I just figured, I mean, they don't know what we're talking about. So Perfect. just letting you know the, the reason. Because I didn't want to type all that out, man. That would have been taking a while. All right. This one. Drops his hand crossbow. No, he's not. He's going to take another shot with his hand crossbow. Uh, one point of piercing damage and a con save from Ren, please. Big success. All right, that one is dead. Ray, it is the start of your turn. So, which one triggers at the start again? I know one triggers at the end. Start their turn there. Okay, so it's Cloud Kill, which is... I need con save, please, Ray. So you take... 12 damage and are not poisoned. Do I take more damage if I move out of it? No. I'd like to move there. Um, let me give me one second. I need to see if this spell is on the druid spell list. Feel like it is. It is not. Okay, never mind. You wouldn't know. Go ahead. Sorry, does one of these circles move? You don't know because it's not on your spell list. That's what I was checking. You're unaware whether any of them move. Okay, give me one quick second. Better not be looking up the spell, Snow. No, no, I'm not. not <laughs> Just checking. Oh man, I feel bad. I'm kind of spanking these guys. I wasn't trying to, man. It's just, you know, they're 
enemies are going to try and stay alive, and these enemies just... This is the first fight where they've actually had a challenge, though, in, like... Okay, one second. I'm just going to look up a spell that I would like to cast. Okay. What are you, what are you looking up? Um, I was thinking of using my um, healing staff for mass cure wounds, because can, I can use that. All right. Uh, I think you have to be able to see them. Yeah, I, I would say you would have to be able to see them. But you said that this circle is only limited visibility. Yes, but, I mean, you could cast on yourself, but from where you are, you can't see Valoran. Uh, you can see... You can probably see Ren. You can't see Zin unless you step into the circle. Because he's behind a wall. And I missed one of the drow's turns, but on one you can see anyways. Okay, well then I'll move over here. And then I'm going to use my staff on myself. Okay. Okay, you get yourself a little bit of heals back. And then can I use a mass healing potion on myself also for my bonus action? Sorry, greater healing potion. Uh, yes, you may. Right, a greater healing potion. Yeah, I have it in as 2d4 plus 4. No. I'm pretty sure you're missing a couple d4 there. Hold on a sec. I think it's like 4d4. Four four. So a regular potion of healing is 2d4 plus 2. A greater healing is 4d4 plus 4. So roll another 2d4. Wow. That's fucking better than nothing, man. It is. It is. I'm just... I feel bad. <laughs> you guys have been steam... I didn't even fucking edit these stat blocks. You guys have been steamrolling everything, and now it's kind of going the other way at this point, and I feel bad about it. Yeah, some days you're the hammer, some days you're the nail. And some days, you just get screwed. Exactly. If by screwed you mean dead, then yes. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Um, Is that all for you, or do you want to use more movement? <laughs> no, I'm good. One moves in on Ren. Fail, hit, fail. Uh, four slashing before resistance. Uh, it misses with its... Uh, it misses with its bite, but it does hit with one of its claw attacks. 
slicing into the front of uh, one of her thighs. And at the start of her turn... Cloud Kill begins to move away. She uh, calls to one of the... You, you hear her yell something at one of the troglodytes. You! Get him out of the insect cloud. And Let's see what else she got. Oh, actually, never mind. He's not actually going to do that. Going to use levitate. Uh, rises up to twenty feet. It remains suspended there for the duration. So I can look. Target weighs up to 500 pounds. Unwilling creature. Well, you're unconscious, so you can't exactly be unwilling. Uh, target can only move by pushing against a wall or a fixed object. But these are 20 foot radius, so she is going to lift you just outside of the uh, the insect plague. Zen, you are 20 feet in the air now. Just barely outside the range. How did I get moved 20 feet in the air? Sorry. Levitate. I really understand that. She used levitate on you. Say, so how far is 60 feet? She's going to have to come down. It's also a 20 foot radius, so I would just be inside it, wouldn't I? Uh, no, because the uh, basically she put it on the ground, so it would only be 20 feet up. Right? So like, that's where but she I'm put the center of lifted, it. Yeah, so I'm only being lifted 20 feet up then by levitate. So it's like exact same amount i don't get it um so basically how it works is like you're you're on the ground right so if if from the ground 20 feet well un unless you're half an inch thick your face would be above the cloud okay make sense kind of yeah all right because i'm facing upwards not downwards basically exactly yeah uh Thirty, and I believe that puts her within range to use that. Yep, she is just within range to use that. Perfect. Giant spider drops down from the ceiling and is going to make uh, some. Actually, you know what? It's going to roll a d6, see if it gets its wet back. It did. It's going to try to re web Ray again. Or Ren, sorry. Uh, Ren manages to sidestep this, uh, this web as it gets shot in. Valorant. Okay, you succeed. You're, a, you're able to st stop yourself from popping your own owl. So I need a DM ruling on this. Is Chronal Shift a spell or is it a magical effect? Mm. Why do you ask? Because I'd cast it on myself. What, to try and fail? Mm hmm. To keep myself in a uh, pocket, if you will, until the end of my next turn. Of course, that's metagaming. Never mind. No, it's not. Actually, I know that. I, 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 I would allow it because um, it's not a spell. It's a it's a class ability. Cool. I will try that, and I think that is a con save. I mean, honestly, um, I, I do allow like um, if you want to fail a save, I do allow it. So you don't even really have to use Chronal Shift. 
Oh, no, no, the momentary stasis. I mean, that's a con save. Oh, so you're trying to stun yourself. Uh, post yeah. it for me. Let's see if you can even cast it on yourself. Or use it on yourself, I guess I should say. I can find it. Eh, sounds like it's not me. Best creatures in case feel much plunged next turn or until the creature takes any damage. While in case in this way, a creature is to to speak to zero, you can use a feature number of times equal to your intelligence multiplier. Um. I mean, honestly, you are a large or smaller creature that you can see. And you okay. are definitely within 60 feet of yourself. Can't get any closer. I will hit myself with that. Okay. And you can make yourself auto-fail. So all of a sudden, your owl watches as you just kind of start to freeze. Your your internal instincts, however, are, are fighting against it. But you, you force yourself to to give in to it. Your owl is just going to continue to harry you, flying around you. <laughs> no effect at all, yes. Alright. Ilnor. Let's see, he cannot come. Okay. Oh boy. All right, almost everything he has is concentration. So, I mean, there's that at least, right? Okay, that's not bad. What is his plus to hit? Six? Yes, okay. And 60 feet range. He's get a little closer. Gets to here. Shoots a ray of frost at Ren. <laughs> Holy fuck. Are you serious? So that's a crit. Um, nine and eight is seventeen cold before resistance, and her speedman is moved uh, shortened by ten feet until the start of his next turn. Okay. Arda. Marta backs up to the edge of the room. You will see I am worthy. I need a dexterity save from Ren, please. She succeeds. She's still going to take half of this fireball damage. Roller. Okay, well, I can't do it because there's not enough D6 is there, so. Uh, so she takes a quarter of that. 
and the troglodytes, even on a, you know what, uh, they might live on a success. And none of them succeed. You hear from uh, over here, you fool! You're killing our cannon fodder! I will have your heart, elf. Oh. Well, I guess I'm really not welcome here. Uh, let me just... Actually, she might have more people with that. Oh, wow. Oh, no. What did I do? Uh, well, not exactly. In fact, the priestess screams out herself. Fuck. I misjudged that. So we got one, two, three of these. Wow, fail, fail, succeed. So... I really misjudged that distance. Uh, that one succeeds, so it takes... <laughs> you hear shouts all around the room as uh, suddenly... Ren's the only one who can see this currently. Um, bodies begin to fall. Uh, let's see about this one here. Um, Savage. Yes. Which uh, who cast Levitate on me? Is I... that the same one that cast one of the other two spells? No, uh, sorry, I, I used Levitate from the wrong stat block. Uh, she has cast, what did she cast? Oh yeah, she's the one that did Insect Plague. So that is gone. That is correct. The Insect Plague is gone. The vapors, however, are not. But uh, they might be. Let's see if she succeeds her deck save. Oh, that's a that's a fail. So she takes four. She'd make con save DC of twelve. Hold concentration on levitate. She passes. So you are still levitated. Thank God, otherwise you would be fucked. <laughs> yep, that would have hurt. That one's dead. That one was high enough up in the ceiling. It didn't take any damage. Okay. Valorant, make me a perception, please. Okay. Yeah, uh -huh. you, you don't hear it. Five, ten. No, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Uh, giant spider. We'll roll to see if he gets his web back. Does not. Uh, he is going to... Uh, this one's going to go over towards the one who just cast a fireball. And he's going to come down from the roof and make an attack. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Fuck. Rolling in more spiders, are we? No, no, I, I don't even know how I did that. I, I hit my push talk, and I guess my mouse was over initiative, and it just it rolled in a dead spider. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a hit. Uh, 
Ren hears a scream from up in this area as the Marta ends up getting uh, eight. Well, it takes a bite and she gets starts uh, being cocooned. Um, but yeah, she's gone. This one pops out around the corner. Crossbows at Ren. Uh, does not have advantage, so it's a miss. Background uh, this one and is going to roll a stealth. Zen, uh, you may whisper me your death save, and should you like to uh, give a memory, you may. Uh, no memory. Ren. Uh, yeah. Uh, is this spider still up high? I don't know if we said they went down. Or uh, this one high. is still up high because it tried to web her again. That one, that one got its web back. Uh, this one over here did not. That's why it came down to attack. Okay. Oh, that's not what I was trying to do. <laughs> um, Self destruction. No, I was uh, trying to check distances because, you know. Um, I can't. Uh, yeah, I guess she, because, so she, the spider's up high, so she's safe from the spider then. I assume, correct? Uh, yes. It's like 20 feet in there? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So she's going to come over here. Um, Sorry, this pillar, is she on the other side so she can see this guy? Or does she have to step over more? Uh, sorry, she is. Where'd she go? Oh, she's here. Okay. Um, yeah, she comes around. Uh, he was he was trying to hide, but uh, yeah. As you come around the corner, uh, she can definitely see him. Okay, she is going to attack recklessly, and she is still raging. Um, my jaw stop lock. Yeah, unfortunately, as she comes um around uh, with her axe, she goes to swing it at this this thing and uh, this drow, and he ducks underneath and she buries it into the pillar. Okay, she's gonna take a swing again. She withdraws and and she goes to raise it over her head. And that one is a hit. You want to describe this as you just... Well, in typical Ren fashion, she's going to cut their head off. Okay. Um, and then bonus action, healing, greater healing potion. Okay. And then she will just move right up to this one. And that'll be her turn. I can't believe I just steamrolled myself with that fucking fireball. That was so stupid. Um, Ray, you took damage since you cast that uh, moonbeam, yeah? Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's gone already. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure you took two hits, I think. So give me two con saves. Gotta zoom back up. Uh, the first one, uh, I'm pretty sure, holds your concentration. The second one is iffy. So, that one. 
That one you would have held concentration on. Yeah, you still have concentration on that. And it's your turn. Okay, sweet. Uh, you see the vapor still in front of you. However, you no longer hear the buzzing of insects. And sorry, just to clarify, the vapor also does damage, right? It does. Uh, when you were in it, you started to cough. Uh, you, you started to cough up a little bit of blood, actually definitely know that it's poison. Okay, I'm going to use another charge of my staff on my cell. Okay. I have a question. Do you have um, anything like gust or something that creates wind? Negative. Okay. Sure, you uh, you use your staff to uh, you know, touch your forehead, and you gain back some uh, some health. And then I'll use um a potion of healing as well, since I have a bunch of those. Okay. Man, those not ones today are just killer, right? Oh, they're my favorite. <laughs> and then that's my turn. All right. With Ren right next to her. She should cast it. Animal friendship. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh. Excuse me. What does she have to help her protect herself against rampaging lycanthrope? Sorry's in. Yep. Begin to fall to the ground. Mm -hmm. Though you are unconscious, you can see. You, you feel yourself fallen, and then suddenly. You awake. Before you and your mother. Hello, my son. You're muted. Oh, I'm able to respond? Oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't know if it was just going to go into like a Uh, hello. Wh where, where am I? You see a tear start to form. You're far too young to be here. What led you here? Why are you dead? Ah, uh, so I am dead then. Yeah, um, because when you hit the ground, oh, that's, that's an odd, odd, Yeah, I, I know, I oh, know. Okay, no, okay, no, okay. I, a player, player to DM. I know. <laughs> Sorry, I know. I didn't realize you're talking playing. to her. All he's right. realizing he's he's dead. Um. Well, 
I guess uh, I guess my adventures ended shorter than I appear appeared I thought they would. But uh, at least I have a chance to see you again. She brings you tight and hugs you. She says, I'm both glad and sad to see you, my child. Uh, Zin, Zin hung, hugs her back quite heartedly. Tears start to roll down his, uh, his face as well. Yes, uh, a bittersweet end it appears for my for myself. Well, let me show you around. And around you, you see a you're you're in the middle of a wide open field. The sun is shining. A gentle wind blows. You can feel it, and although the wind is chilly, you are not cold. And she begins to lead you towards a forest. But at that point, uh, we're going to snap back to uh, combat. As you drop, Ren is going to have to make another. On save as insect play. Sorry, no adv advantage. Just 20. Sorry, she's actually going to run before she casts that. So she can get an attack for opportunity if you wish. Let's do it. Oh, god damn, send me that attack. 22. She cries out as, uh, as Ren's slash drags across the back. And she kind of stumbles as she goes. And Ren can hear her say, Ilnor! Finish off that beast. Kill that one if you must. And another insect plague is called down. 4d10 piercing. Uh, so you're going to half whatever I roll here. And then, and then quarter it, basically. Total. Yep. So half of that would be 11, so you're going to take 5. Nice. Bad for a level 5 spell. <laughs> level 5 spell? Sheesh. Yeah. Giant spider is going to roll, see if he gets web back. Does. He's going to use a web on Ren again. <laughs> 17 is a hit. Yep. And when does... Lightly obscured... Area is difficult terrain. First time or ends its turn there. Okay. Mr. Valoran. Pretending to be a statue until the end of my turn. All right. Owl continues to harry you. Ilnor. His gaseous cloud moves another 10 feet. Mm 
And Cloud Kill. Let's see. Where is Cloud Kill? Five D eight poison. Uh, I need a con save, please, from you, Mr. Valoran. Already up. It's, oh damn. Oh yeah. How much HP you got left, my guy? I got eight. Oh. Bye bye. Valoran, you fall unconscious. Um, how how long uh is your how much con do you have? Uh, your not mod, uh, your con mod, One not hour. your not your max. One hour is your answer, ultimately. Okay. Unfortunately, Valor, you fall unconscious, and with that, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, five, and thirty going to stop right here. Ren is restrained. I believe that means she can't make a deck save. Yeah, it's autofail. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, Matt. Uh, any creature. Uh, disadvantage, actually, which doesn't really make oh, any sense yeah. to me, but okay. Um, disadvantage on this next save. I guess because she can wiggle around a little bit, maybe. I mean, I guess. Because I think they just want to do it so it's different, because when you're unconscious, it's an auto-hit, and then if you're paralyzed, it's an auto-crit. So it's like the three stages, I guess. I don't know. Deck save at disadvantage, please. So, 12, um, and, oh, fuck. Lightning ignites flammable objects in the area. Web is flammable. So, as the web around you begins to, uh, burn. We take a look at the spell web, because that tells you how much damage uh, it takes when the web burns. Two D four. So after resistance, twelve and four. Yep, done. However, she is no longer restrained by the web. The spider comes over to you, Zen. Mm -hmm. Takes your body away from the cloud kill. Begins to wrap it in webbing. These two are not going to move. Because cloud kill is, well, they'll move a little bit, but... Ren. So it is difficult terrain. I don't know if her lycanthropy or her barbarian gives her, uh, you know, freedom to move in difficult terrain at regular speed or not. I will double check, but I don't think so. At least not yet. Yeah, no, not yet. Um...
Yeah. Yeah, not yet. Okay, so then this is 10, 20. Uh, getting to here, is that heavy terrain moving between that square? Uh, sorry, where were you? Uh, so I, sorry, I started here. So that's 10 feet, 20 feet. And then moving out, is that going to be 10 more feet? We'll call it five. Okay, 25. Uh... Um, can she see this one from here? Roll me a perception. Yeah. Okay, she's going to hawk a javelin at that one. Okay. That's a hit. Uh, rage doesn't happen on that one, though. Yeah, he's going to do a con save to hold concentration. He fails. Cloud kill disappears. Thank goodness. Uh, she'll throw another one. Yup. You want to describe? Uh, I'll let you describe this one. As he's concentrating on this spell, and he looks very pleased with himself after that uh, display of lightning shooting from his hand, he kind of smirks. Ray steps out of the insect plague, or sorry, Ren steps out of the insect plague, turns around with a sneer on her face. She pulls out two javelins, one after the other, as she throws them. One pierces uh, his, his, uh, his, his thigh. And it, it sinks through and kind of pins him to the ground. He, he shouts out, and as the second one flies in and his scream kind of starts to subside, he looks at it and his eyes go wide as it pierces right in between his eyes, slamming his, uh, his head, pinning it to the pillar behind him. This, this, uh, although he is dead, he seems to be almost suspended by these two javelins. Pinning them both to the ground and the pillar. Okay. Um, she's going to move 15 more feet. I guess 10 more feet to there. And then she's going to pop one more potion of greater healing. Okay. Seventeens all day. Nice, nice. Ray, you watch as the um, cloud of poisonous vapor in front of you suddenly dissipates. Dissipates. Fuck, I always screw up that word too. Okay, so that's gone. I'm gonna move. And sorry, just to clarify, I, I know my character can't really see it, but I just want to clarify. This is the the one that did that bug thing? Uh, yes. Right here? Okay, um, okay. However, whether you can see her, uh, give me a perception. That was performance. It's wrong. Don't listen to it. Oh, uh, just tell me what your uh, your um, plus two perception is. Four. So a twenty. Yeah, you can Thanks see her. God. Okay, I'm moving my moonbeam over her. Right smacked in the middle of her face. How far can you move it? I thought it was only 20, isn't it? 60 feet. 60 feet? Fucking okay. All right, give me your damage. <laughs> 13 Radiant on save. That is a fail.
she cries in pain as uh, as radiant flames start to burn her body. She stands, uh, she's caught, I should say, in this beam of moonlight. Anything else? Yeah, I'm just trying to think right now. Sorry, can I tell if Ren is like super hurting or has her, have her potions been helping? Well, I don't know if she's taking potions, but can I tell if she's like really hurting? Um, give me a medicine. Yeah, she's she's injured. I mean, you've seen her at worse, but you've definitely seen her better. Okay, I'm going to use um oh wait, fuck. To move the mummy is an action and my healing I'm going to use a healing word on myself but I'm going to cast it as a spell instead of my staff, because I think my staff is an action. Sure. Yeah. And that's it for me. All right, Zen, I'm sorry. I completely fucking skipped you. So. Oh, I, I mean, I... I'm dead. We had a con we're starting to have a conversation, so it could take some time to talk and show, right? It's only six I seconds mean, around. Yeah, but time moves differently when you're dead. Also fair. Um you You're led by your mother into a forest. And after a few moments, uh it, it takes a little bit to get in there. But you look around and you seem to be the only drow here. And as you you and your mother enter this this town of elves inside this forest, you see the bridges built up in the trees. The the elves have made their home inside the trees and 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 built around them. But everybody seems to be staring at you. And whispers are to form. Don't mind them. They're not used to having one of your complexion here. Most of the drow who are on the surface, most of them worship Saloon. I'm sure I've told you this before, but It may take some getting used to, but... Tell me... You didn't really tell me how you died. Did you have friends? I haven't seen you in so long. Tell me about your life. Peace. And she continues to uh, take you down the, the streets of the town. You may... Yeah. Give her some um, information if you wish. Yeah, I... I... I, I do have friends. I actually am quite quite lucky to to meet a few of them. Um, friends I really care about. And uh, I'm just, as he looks around, uh, hoping to not find them here as well. I uh, We were adventuring in a, a dungeon. And it... I mean, it all happened so fast. It's it's really it's really hard to recall it all. But uh, we're we're actually fighting some drow, some evil drow, and uh, it appears they've they got the better of me. I'm just and he looks around again, really hoping not to find my companions here as well. Well, this is uh, a place for people who worship Meliki. Forest, it 
Did your friends worship Malachi as well? Or at least bring honor to her name? At, at least one other worshipped her. And I would like to think that Malachi would smile upon any of my friends. They had quite a kind heart. Your mind quickly flashes to Valor and just magic missling a, a dude who tried to pickpocket him and, <laughs> and fireballs, fireballs everywhere. Um, Road okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not all, but most. <laughs> just kidding. Um, I was always nice till they started. <laughs> but as uh, you, you guys, uh, you and your mother um, traverse you through town, she brings you to a building. Well, this is my home, and I still have a spare room, if you'd like. Uh, Zin nods. Yes, it, I guess, uh, I guess we now have some time to catch up. Yes, we do. She opens the door, and you both head inside. And with that, we'll go back to combat. Moonbeam. When a creature enters spells area or starts his turn there, give me another roll of your moonbeam. Bray? And it's any creature, too, so anybody inside that radius. I mean, the other one's dead. Oh, is the other one dead? I can't see behind the shadows. Yeah. <laughs> and I saw him in turn order, so I was like, oh. Oh, she actually needs to make another con save to hold her car, her concentration too so this is for concentration on insect plague that's gone uh, she will do a con save against your spell that is a fail she takes seven damage okay last your bloody moonbeam. And she heads off. 5, 10, 15. Sorry. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. What is she going to cast? Okay. She... Going to cast <laughs> Oh, this is good. Let's see, fifteen foot radius sphere. Uh Zin, could you draw me a fifteen foot radius, please? A globe of darkness surrounds her. You cannot see inside of this, uh, Ray or Ren. Giant spider sees Ren. It's going to go after her. Oh, this one's still on the ceiling, isn't it? It is. Wow, gets it back again. Oh, man. All right. Ren manages to sidestep it. Then scurries further along the roof. Five. In between these two pillars. Valoran, uh, if you hit uh, 2 GM and then hit your death save, please. Okay, you may share a memory if you wish. Hey, you're, nah. not, you're not supposed to tell people whether you, you roll good or bad. I'm sorry, no, I didn't mean to. I, I saw it pop up and then I didn't see the, the, 
the quotation marks at first. Oh. <laughs> so that was the the crap. Uh, so yeah, no, no, uh, no memory. Okay. This one, uh, seeing Ray enter the room, he was using his web to wrap up Sin, so he's going to roll, see if he gets it back. He does not. Uh, it leaps over Zin's body and charges at Ray. 5, 10, 15, 20. And nibble, nibble. Tracy? Or mine? Oh, Ray. 17. So, 11 piercing damage, and give me a constitution save, please. In fact, uh, give me two of them. First one is going to be against the poison. Second one will be to see if you hold concentration. Okay, half is, uh, so you take 21 damage, uh, 11 piercing and 10 poison. You lose your moonbeam. Uh, damage reduced target to zero hit points, so you did not. So you do have the poison condition, though. So you were poisoned for one hour. Okay. Hey, Ray, roll me a perception. Are you fucking kidding me? Sorry, I warned you guys at la last session. They still had all their gear on them. They were locked in there. I assumed it was fine. Yeah, like that's what I thought too. Yeah, but I mean, they're they they still got lock picking sets. Yeah, but how do you pick a lock from the inside? Whatever, it doesn't matter. I mean, it's it's an iron door. You can easily do that, and they did roll for it. Just to be clear, I didn't just be like they opened the door. I I did roll for it. Sorry, I assumed the uh, drow would do their due diligence when uh, checking prisoners to make sure they couldn't get out. Considering drow are smart and conniving. It was, uh, so player knowledge, they were in there because it was a test. They were actually trying to join up with these guys, and that was their test, was to stay in there and take as much punishment from the uh, higher-ranking drow and the priestess as they could. Gotcha. Yeah, no, just like player, like character yeah no that, that, that that's fair but that that was part of the reason i i had him shoot uh valor in last session is so that guys were where they they still had all their stuff on them right yeah and at least val did kill one yep he he sure fucking did in mm -hmm. a very murderous way i enjoyed that see so val's learning from this val's taking away from this Next time, kill everything you fucking see. <laughs> yep. Murder hobo. Moving forward, murder hobo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Chaotic key. Well, well, good. Uh -uh. So. Uh, you said your AC 17, right? Yeah. So, uh, only one of them manages to hit you. You take three piercing, and I need a constitution save, and I believe the poison condition... Give me one second, let me check. Uh, no, it does not give you disadvantage on saves, just attack rolls and ability checks. So, give me a con save, please. You manage to not fall asleep. You get a little drowsy all of a sudden as you you feel this uh, this 
small crossbow bolt pierce your ribs and you kind of start to feel a little drowsy but you kind of shake your head you know the adrenaline is pumping you you see zin wrapped up in in spider web over here dead uh at least you think he's dead he's not breathing uh I don't know if you saw Zin when you, pa or uh, I mean Valorin when you passed into this room, but he was laying in a doorway here in his lycanthrope form. Me? Are you asking me that? Yeah, I mean, like, I, oh, I think yeah, where yeah. you, where I, you I am, seen him. Yeah, so my, my train of thought is, like, he is better unconscious than trying to murder everybody else, like, including our own people. Yep, that is totally fair. I'm just I'm just pointing out what you what you've seen around. Oh yeah, yeah, you and, absolutely. And, and why you're you're kind of were able to just shake off the uh, the drow poison. Um, Zin. Yep. You spend time with your mother. You feel like you've been here for a couple years. You've gone out on hunts. And. Everything has been blissful. Did I ask her how she passed? She does say that... Uh, I, I, I actually feel like that probably would have been one of the first things you asked. So like, you know, your first slash second day yeah, here, after, right? Yeah, like after telling her about how I passed for my friends and stuff, I'd ask her about hers for sure if she's willing or able to tell it was um can you refresh my memory when you found her what did she look like like what had happened to her <clears throat> um I didn't find her I don't believe she just uh or I, I didn't I didn't describe so I can you can leave that up to you I just know that she died I'm pretty sure in my my backstory I don't think I described it all right, so here's how you found her. She had one single knife sticking out of her chest, but she had what looked like hundreds of cuts across her body. She says, it was a man I've never seen before. He wore a mask or a, a covering over his face. However, in the struggle, I was able to remove the hood from his head. I was not able to get a good look at the rest of his face, but his head was completely bald. He did not even have eyebrows. And he had what looked like tattoos of arcane sigils around his head. And as he stood up from plunging a blade into my chest, all I remember is hundreds of daggers spiling around me cutting me over and over and over again he smiled and laughed until everything went black Are you talking? Uh, no. I was okay. just thinking. Then uh, nod solemnly. Give me a uh, history. An sure. advantage. Okay. Advantage. Sounds an awful lot like the uh, Thayan wizards you guys have seen, Waterdeep. Uh, that's the red wizards is that is that correct yep okay 
However, you you spend uh, what seems like a couple years there, um, going on hunts, and every time you kill something and you harvest the meat, you take what you need, and then it seems like once you're done, and you give thanks to the animal, its body reforms, and it stands up looks at you and almost gives you a nod or taking off back deeper into the forest or across the field. It's been a long time since you felt truly happy. And although your friends often come to your thoughts, you find it starting to happen less and less. The whispers around the city, or the, the town, haven't really stopped at this point, though it has been a few years. And with that, we will go back to Ren. She's your turn, Ren. Yeah, so she's going to move 15 feet to here. Okay. And she's going to attack the spider that's attacking her friend. Uh-huh. Recklessly. Indeed. Yup. Yup. Okay. Assume it's not dead, so we're gonna go again. Yup. Yeah. Describe? Yeah, so uh, this time she kind of gets around, she like first swing cuts a couple mandibles and as it rears she kind of gets steps off to the side uh so that it's kind of perpendicular so she can cut the head clean off from the body in a vertical motion i assume because that would be where the neck is mm -hmm. all right um and then she is going to try to protect her friend and five ten she can get through the doorway i assume uh yeah kind of like kind of like go you know try to get both their attentions sure um and then she'll just pop a normal potion of healing okay for six ray you watch as ren charges over um absolutely wrecks this spider and then heads through the door starting to harry the two drow who have seemingly come out of nowhere. Okay, so I'm assuming it's my turn now. I'm going to cast my uh, unicorn totem. Okay. I'll place her there, and then I'm going to use... I'm going to use Cure Wounds from my staff. Damn, how many more of them you got? Um, after this, three. Wait, are you... it's a staff of healing, right? Yeah, I get ten charges, and it, re it recharges every long rest. Can I ask a question why you're not upcasting it? That you're casting it every turn? What do you mean upcasting it? So the Staff of Healing, um, you can upcast um, your Cure Wounds up to level 4 with that. It just uses more charges. So like, if you're, you, if you're using three different turns to cast Cure Wounds, what you could have done is in instead of just casting at level one with one charge, you could be like, I'm going to cast, uh, uh, I'm going to use it to cast at a level four. And you yeah, use but four I, charges, right? I also have to keep it above one charge or it doesn't recharge at all. So I have to be mindful of that. Oh yeah, for sure. I just mean, it's been like four or five. Uh, it, I mean, using all those charges, like you would have probably had a better chance of being able to do something else on your turns is, is all I'm saying. 
Well, I mean, for most of my turns, I was stuck in that cloud, and I can only use it when I can, I think, when I can see you. Because I have to be able to touch you with it. Yeah, but I mean, when you were doing it to yourself, right? A anyways, it, it doesn't matter. I'm just giving a suggestion for, your, for future reference. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, sure. Uh, you, you're healing yourself? Yeah, I'm going to heal myself, and then by healing me, everyone, because I'm everyone gets bonuses from that. Indeed. Uh, I believe it's equal to your druid level, yeah? Uh, yeah. And I believe... What's the, the, the range on it? 60 feet, isn't it? Uh, I think it's 30, but I'm not sure because uh, it doesn't say in it's this posted, little board. It, I think it'll be in your regular spirit totem. Like, the, uh, you know, you should have one for each type oh, of spirit. Oh, yeah. So then... it's in with 60, um, a point you can see within 60 feet of you. So it's a 30 foot radius. 30 foot. Okay, that's what we're going to do then. Uh, we are going to make this. I'm going to make it rather light color. Yellow. Alright, uh, drop your, drop your thing. Alright, now that, hold on, I'm going to actually change it. I think it. it's on the wrong layer, because we can't see it. Uh, no, it's I a, can see it. It's on the token layer. Oh yeah, you, yeah, you won't be it. able to, it, it'll be Ray, so only, Ray and myself are the only ones who can actually see it. Uh, okay, cool. That's intentional, got it. Yeah, um, I'm just going to, where's your totem? You're going to delete that one and now that we have an aura for it we'll use like a token boom and now whenever you drag it out it should automatically pop up that aura fantastic um and you know what because it's the totem uh does it say ones you choose or just you and your allies you and your allies gain advantage on all ability checks made to detect yeah each creature of your choice. So the people I like, the other people that are fighting us, they can fuck off. I will. I will. I'll say that since it is an aura, it would go around corners. So, yeah. Hey, Valoran. Yeah. Uh -huh. So five. You gain no, five. five HP and you awake, unless Ray doesn't want you to have it in his werewolf form. That's a fair point. Ray, that's up to you. I'm sorry, what? I was looking at a spell. What did you say? Do you want Valorant to get some of that HPs? Uh, yeah, I don't want him to die. Okay. But I also don't want him to kill us. I won't so... be mad if you say no. It's totally okay. No, I don't want you to die, though. If he <laughs> heals, he's up. Like, he's up on a boot. Yeah. And he just attacks the closest things to him? Yeah. Okay, but that's the drow. Uh-huh. So, maybe it's fine. He can have a little baby healing. So, dumb question, Savage, since I went down to, like, negative 14, do I just stop at zero? There, yeah, then, you always stop at zero. Uh, there, There's no negative unless you get okay. hit so hard that it actually... Uh, hits you negative. Uh, I guess your HP right now is 31. So if you got hit hard enough with one hit that it puts you at negative 31, that's the only time it would matter, and that would be instant death. Gotcha. Otherwise, if if you're if you're always at zero. Got it. Ray, give me a perception. As you look north and you see what looks to be Zin's body wrapped in webbing, you notice that he is not moving even after your heal. Okay, so I fucked up. Can I move the other way instead of this way? Uh-huh.
I'm going to I'm going to be here. Okay. And that's it for me. You haven't got to do much. Roll me a d20. Oh, that's see you next Tuesday's back. Oh, she's still in the oh. darkness. I can see her. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, she's in darkness, though. This black circle. It's... Oh, that goes around her? Is the globe of thing? Yep. Okay. She casts on something she's carrying, so it moves with her. Um, Fuck that bitch. With a 17, yeah, she is able to uh, navigate the stairs just fine. She's going to continue to move. But to clarify, she's holding. She must be holding the object in her hand, then, correct? Uh, it can be something like a belt buckle. No, it says it says um, object you're holding or one that isn't being worn or carried. It can't be worn or carried. And she can't see inside of it either, so. Yeah, that's what the the not or the uh, twenty. The rolls. Yeah. Oh, I, I'm not watching the rolls. I was just reading the spell. You're right. Okay. So yeah, it's something she's carrying then. Or holding. Yeah. So she has a physical item in her hand that that she's cast it on basically. Indeed. Give me another. Uh, uh, this time. Uh, you know what, Zin, you've been able to roll for, for Ren all, all game, so we'll give uh, Valor. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm... Valor, give me another uh, d20. Why wouldn't Val's rolling for shit today? <laughs> she navigates around. See? The globe of darkness seems to be getting closer to you, right? Spider it is going to roll to see if it gets its web back. It does not. It leaps down next to you, Ray. However, as it does, it misjudges the trajectory of its bite, and it misses. Valorant, you awake prone, still in your werewolf form. You have 5 HP? What would you like to do? Woohoo! I am going to attack the nearest um, drought. Sure. Rip his throat out! Probably not tonight, but I'll give it a shot. But you can oh. try. I'll try. What do I roll, Savage? Normal attack? Uh, you would roll a... Oh, did we not, uh... I not put some of those in there for you? I don't see a bite. On a sec. A Alright, so... Bite. Let me take a look at Ren's. Okay.
There you go. Woof. Yeah, it's based on strength, unfortunately. Yeah, it's all good. Ren, <laughs> Ren looks at you as you come up behind them, and, uh... I mean, she doesn't vocalize it, but... She's, she's thinking, like, you were the scrawniest fucking lycanthrope she's ever seen. <laughs> Pretty fucking pathetic, yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, unfortunately, that misses. You come in behind them, and, and you go to bite this one on the nape of the neck, and he kind of ducks underneath it. Um, and you kind of just slap your jaws together. And that's the only turn I can take, that I, or the only action that I take. I don't think I get bonus action, so that's me. All right, let's see. They're both going to drop their hand crossbows and pull out their short swords. First one's going to go for Ren. Second one's going to go for Valoran. Uh, a 19 on Ren uh, for five piercing before yeah. resistance. And I believe you now have an unarmored AC. Do you not, Mr. Valoran, with your lycanthropy? 14. 14. 14? Oh, damn. With your unarmored? Yeah, because it's uh, 10 plus your dex mod plus your con mod. Ouch, bro. Ouch. Bad dog sit. Yeah. Uh, he, the one you tried to bite spins on you, um, pulls his sword and slashes upwards, and it draws a line across your chest uh, for three piercing before your resistance against normal weapons. Cool. So it would be one piercing after your resistance. Gotcha. Zin, it has been, it feels like a couple more years. And whispers still go on. Till one day you, you feel like you're about to snap. Um... As you wander around town and, and go to the, their their markets and, and such, you look around and you see people walking with, you know, um, new friends they've made in this beautiful afterlife. And other than your mother, you've been kind of a loner. Um, anytime you've kind of tried to make friends, uh, most of them kind of shun you. And you've been rather lucky if they were, you know, just just ignored you. Um, but unfortunately, you've heard many a drow elf slur slung your way. But one day, you hear a knock at your door. A strange knock. It's not one you've heard before. Would you like to open the door? Or are you going to ignore it? Uh, Z Zin will walk over and open the door. The first thing you notice is the crowd outside. And you begin to think the worst. They finally come for me. But then, strange head kind of hooks its head around the around the door a horn leading the way a horse like face regards you and you realize that it was probably the horn of this animal that was knocking on the door you are aware that Unicorns are Meliki's way of showing favor, um, showing favor to her chosen, her, her followers. And the whispers seem to um, pick up again as it regards you. 
kind of uses its nose to nuzzle you a bit. What do you want to do? Um, whereabouts is it nuzzling me? Like chest tight? Yeah. Yeah, so Zin smiles. because It's kind of ticklish. And he uh, gently put, put places his hand on the, the mane of it. And kind of like strokes the mane. And he's like, well, why aren't you a gentle one? You were also aware that um, unicorns are actually technically celestial beings, though they do look like animals. Um, you, you, as you kind of uh, gently stroke the mane of this creature, um, the sun seems to almost shift. And a beam of light shines down on you in your open door frame through the trees. It shines on both you and this creature. And some of the whispers you're hearing sound to be, uh, some of them are, why would she show favor to, to one of those? While others are like, he has the blessing. Maybe we have misjudged him. Um, these whispers continue as you kind of have a moment with this unicorn. And as it kind of pulls back from you, you hear in your head, Meliki shows you favor. Do not let those who doubt you change who you are you are one of <clears throat> you are one of hers you are one of us and this unicorn begins to turn away he gets closer to the crowd and as uh, some of the crowd kind of raise their hands to touch him um, they all uh, the unicorn looks at it and snorts at him just a little face full of gob uh, at one of them, and they all kind of back yeah. off. And the unicorn makes its way through the crowd before it leaves town. Many people uh, seem to be trying to follow it, but you notice very soon they all come back, and there's whispers of how it just disappeared into thin air. As you shut your door, uh, your mother stands behind you, smiling. I knew you belonged here. Come, let's have dinner. Zin will uh, follow, but uh, as he does, because I believe that, that was being said in his head, correct? Yes. <clears throat> yeah, so he'll kind of say in his head, hoping that Maliki can hear just a, a thank you. And then follow, uh, continue to follow his, his mother for dinner. And with that, it's Ren's turn. Yeah, she's going to fuck some shit up. Um, she's swinging on this one. Oh. Recklessly. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. Roll your damage, sir. The like cancer for me bite wasn't supposed to be a bite, but. Um, yeah, anyway. Uh, yeah, so, <laughs> uh, I take it you want to make your other one an axe, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. and with advantage, that would technically be a 22 instead of a 21. Roll your damage again. Yeah, with one swift swing, she manages to take off two heads, just bunk, bunk, as they both roll to the ground and the bodies That's collapse. Cool. Let's go, Ren. Um, uh, okay, so she, then she's just going to start bolting back over this way. 25, 30, uh, There, I guess. Okay. Ray. 
Okay, so here's how I'm hoping things will go. I'm going to use Revivify on the Zin. Okay. All right, and you have the diamond, I take it? You betcha. All right, make sure you remove the, uh, the one 300 gold diamond from your inventory. And you kneel down uh, as this uh, spider uh, still harries you, and you manage to get your spell off. Um, Zin, you awake with one HP, <clears throat> taking a deep breath. Or actually, sorry. You know what? Um, because he is in heaven. We actually need to have a moment to decide whether he's coming back. She lays... If he fucking says no, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> it's a couch for you, mister. Zin, uh, <laughs> you, you've been in this place now about uh, what feels like about 20 years. Um, though you haven't aged, and um, you have finally made a couple friends. Um, after that thing with Malachi, uh, some of the others who, uh, you know, had really just mostly avoided you. Um, a couple of them had, you know, started to talk to you when they saw you in market. And uh, um, they hadn't really done anything bad towards you. Um, no no slurs or, or anything like that. Uh, they just kind of, like, avoided you. You know, they saw you in market. They just kind of go the other way. But after that, uh, after that thing, about five years previous, um, they had started talking to you, and once they got to know you, um, they started to enjoy your company, uh, ask you out on hunts, and, and have fun. Now, one of them was a female elf. She tells you how she died. Um, at the hands of uh, a, the hands of let's go with um, a massive moose. No, bison. She'd been out on okay. a hunt and she died by a bison. You happen to be out with this person and a couple other friends. Now, I'm going to allow you to decide whether the relationship took a romantic turn or not. It's up to you. Uh, no, God. Okay, no, <laughs> no. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Correct answer is no, chat. Uh, no, we'll, we'll say no. All right. Um, you guys had become quite the best of friends. In fact, uh, this particular one had kind of reminded you much of both Ren and Rey. Um, had the, the strength and determination of Ren, um, but the playfulness of Rey. Which is why you two became uh, nearly best friends in this afterlife. You guys were out hunting a bison. And kind of helping her face her fears. But suddenly you feel a hand on your chest. But there's nobody near her but you. And she's definitely not close enough to put a hand on you at all. Ray, as you cast this spell, what do you say to Zin to bring him back? So I'm just like over top of his body, like beating on his chest, just screaming, like, we need you come back to us. We need you. And I'm just like, my just tears are just pouring down my face. You hear her voice through the sobs. And at first, what felt like a hand on your chest suddenly turns to somebody punching you in the chest over and over again. But you hear in your head her cries for help, her, her cries for you to come back to them. Yeah, it's almost like begging. 
So now you feel a little torn. Do you stay and help your new best friend? Or do you return to the world without saying goodbye to anyone, including your mother and your new best friend? The choice is yours, Zin. Um, and like I am fully aware of what's what's happening right now. Like you know, like that that it's it's somebody that Ray is trying to bring me back at this point. Yes. Or am and, I still co- okay? And and the world around you, this afterlife, seems to have frozen still. Like you're in a you're outside of time. Shit. Oh. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, I was not yeah. gonna make this choice easy, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Z- Zin is very torn. Um, he's torn, and he keeps going back and forth. Should I go? Should I stay? Should I go? Should I stay? But my mother's here. My friends are there. But I've made new friends. I need to help them. And then, the a flickering image keeps coming back into his mind. His his mother's dead body what she told him about his killers. He has to go back. He has unfinished business to deal with. Not just for himself, but also for his friends. He doesn't have a choice. And he heads, well, whatever direction leads towards, is it light this time or is it away from the light? What the direction to life? So as you as you hear this, you feel the pull, you, you kind of argue with yourself over and over. And then at first you'd been kind of fighting it because you hadn't made your decision. But then this pull gets stronger and you make your decision and you just close your eyes. And all you can whisper is, I'm sorry. And then you get shunted back into your body. You gasp for air as she resurrects you. You have one hit point, but you are restrained. You awake to her beating on your chest. And uh, that's really not making it any easier to catch your breath. <laughs> you then take one hit point of damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be a little too savage even for me. I wasn't hitting that hard, okay? <laughs> um, But, Ray, you see him wake up as he takes a deep breath, and you're you're kind of, like, shocked, uh, you know. You are... You've realized that you are already losing parts of your time there. Most things are still there, but... You know, you're, you're starting to lose the face of of your friends that you made over there. Like, you're forgetting. But, Ray, as you uh, see him wake up and you have brought him back, I believe you still have your action and bon- uh, sorry, sorry, bonus action and movement left. Yeah, bonus left. action. I'm going to use healing word on him. Okay. These fucking ones, man. Oh, damn. Uh, right. So you have I get the. Yeah, do I get the extra five from Unicorn Totem or no? Um. Am I in the 30 feet? Yeah, you're in it. You should get it. And that also means Ray as well. I think Ren's out of it, though. Uh, then... Ren is out of it. Um, okay. Valoran, you get an extra five, so... Uh, Ray, you get five. And... Yeah. Thirteen for you totals, then. Oh, wait. Ray, you still have movement. What do you want to do? I am... Oh, fuck sakes. I'm going to stay where I am, because if I move, that spider's coming at me. Right. 
Zin and Ray, all of a sudden you both are covered in utter darkness. You cannot see half an inch in front of your face. Everything is black. Zin, you would be aware of what this is. Ray, you would have also seen this darkness walking towards you. Valoran, give me a d20. You hear a, uh, and something hit the ground. Just half the movement to stand up. A little bit further over with the last bit of what she had left. Zin, the darkness fades from around you. Uh, Ray, you are still partially in the darkness. Your, your head kind of is all of a sudden out of it. But you look down and uh, you can definitely see that, uh, you know, uh, your, your feet, uh, probably up until your hips, are still inside the darkness. Okay. This one is going to attack Ray. Actually, it's gonna see if it gets its web back. It doesn't, so it's gonna attack Ray instead. Me, uh, give me a con save, please, Ray. Do not uh, take half of the poison damage. So you take eleven do tam wow. eleven damage total. Uh, nine piercing and two poison, and you are not poisoned. Wait, you are still poisoned, aren't you? Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Valorant, you see a globe of darkness walking towards you. So, I failed my wisdom saving throw, so I have to attack the nearest person I can see, hear, or smell. Give me a perception relate or based on smell. And question, they've seen me cast this, so they kind of understand how the spell works, right? Mm-hmm. Well, I think Valorant's the only one that's seen you cast it. Mm, no, everyone should have seen it because I've cast it twice now. Oh, you have? I thought you only cast it once, that one time on yeah, the city I guards. So I cast on the city guards, but then I also casted it before I, before Val died the first time out front where all the hooligans were. Oh, right. Because I hit the one guy and then I dropped it and that ended up fucking us over. Right, yep. Valorant. I only cast it once in the dungeon, but I'm not sure about that one. You are aware that there's something near the center of this circle. I will move to attack it. Sure. Charge into the doorway, sir. Uh, your attack is at disadvantage. Of course. But you gotta move. I'll, I'll put you where you gotta be here. You, you smell it that in that direction. Ouch. And because it's still alive, I have to use my bonus action to attack it again. Ooh. Nine. Damn. And that's me. Hey. Right. Well. These two are dead. Zen. Uh, you are alive, but you are still restrained. Would you like to try and get out? Yeah, I guess so, eh? That's not a whole list of options. Uh, athletics, I assume? Yes. <laughs> Doesn't work that way. I'm still restrained. Oh, you guys don't have to roll uh, Whisper to me anymore, by the way. 
Oh, shoot. I didn't know I was whispering to you. Sorry. Sorry that I was. was. A, for everybody else, that was a four. <laughs> In case you didn't notice, I failed. All right. All right. Uh, Ren's turn. She's going to swing on this, uh, at recklessly at this spider. Yep. Okay. Is it still alive? It is. He's attacking again. Describe, uh, I think. Yeah. Uh, same idea. So she's like, she's out there. She's like kind of crushing the mandibles and then she kind of takes a sidestep to vertically chop, cut its head straight off. Yeah. Um, and then she's going to bolt into the direction, I guess, perception smell once she gets close to the orb. Yeah. Not advantage, though. Doesn't matter. Yeah, it does not matter. Uh, you know there's something in there. Okay. She's going to a a attempt to go towards what sh where she thinks it might be, so you can tell me how I need to play that, but to the best of her ability. Um, Basically, she's probably just going to charge on in there. Uh, yeah. So, what's, what's Ren's intelligence? Uh, intelligence. Dex, strength, dex. Uh, eight. Eight. Not very smart. She can. She's still smart enough to tell a sphere. So yeah, she's so still gonna like kind of rush the in there, first. right? Uh, yeah. how, how, uh, let's see. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Yeah, she has forty feet of movement. Uh, or, or, is it forty or forty-five? Yeah, forty. Forty. Feet of movement. So you know what? As you enter. Yep. Give me a d20. She goes the wrong way. She doesn't exit the sphere, but yep. she, she lost that's, her way. That's fair. <clears throat> and that is uh, her turn. Ray. Can I use an action or a bonus action to cut Zen out of these webs? So you have a choice. Uh, you can either use an uh, use an action to make an athletics to try and get him out, or you can give him the help action when his turn comes around. It's your choice. So if I give him the help action, does that mean I have to hold an action for that? Yes. Which it would give him advantage on his turn, or you can risk it and go for the athletics right now. Okay, so I think I'm going to hold my action to help Zinn when it's his turn. Cause, uh, and then I'm going to um, use Healing Word to heal Zinn. Okay. Well, I mean, you can you can use your bonus action first and then just hold your action, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what I'm doing. All right, for sure. And if you stand there, help him. That means you're not moving. So you can go ahead and roll your roll your heal. And then everyone else also gets five too. Yep. And then yeah, that's my turn. Hey, Valorant. Perception relying on smell. Okay. You know what smell and sound perception something passed through this door directly in front of you didn't it not have to move past me like if i could detect it coming was there any way to stop it uh there was not uh the door okay. is large enough to people get through uh you know what roll me a d20 though roll me a d20 
<laughs> no, she she managed to get right past you. Okay. However, you, you can hear the sound and you sniff the air and you can almost feel uh, some hair brush past you. Make your attack at disadvantage as she leaves your area if you'd like. I would like. I thought 20s were supposed to be good. They are, unless I'm having somebody roll for the NPC. It's unfortunate. Yeah. Let's see. Give me one more D20, Valorant. Fuck her. <laughs> okay, so she does not lock this door on her way by. You do hear a door shut, though. And you see the globe of darkness leave your area. And it just so happens to be your turn. No advantage or disadvantage. Ugh. Yeah, you that's that's a pass, right? I think yours DC was twelve. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's a DC ten once you uh after you turn it's a DC ten. After you turn, it's a DC 10 for Hunt of yeah. the... Yeah, after you turn when you're deciding whether or not you retain control of yourself during that round or that turn, it's a DC 10. I'll post it? it. I thought it was a 20. No. Huh, okay. You are correct, sir. So knowing what this is, I'm going to chase after her. Sure. And I will sprint. Okay. And now I handle it in there. Do you want me to roll a perception for smell or such? Yeah, give me a perception. All right, you're aware she's somewhere in this globe, um, so you do charge in. Give me a d20. This time you want high. You're rolling for yourself. Perfect. <laughs> um, you managed to find this wall here um, with your shoulder kind of clips your shoulder and you stumble a bit and as you do so you kind of get spun around um you're not sure which way is which inside this globe but you do still hear footsteps would you like to take a stab in the dark or rather a bite in the dark <laughs> uh claw. all right disadvantage yeah. Oh man, that was so close. You feel hair um, as you take a, a, a wild slash. You manage to feel hair um, slipping through your fingers, um, but you do miss. And again, I miss. Yes, you do. Cool. That's my turn.
sorry, 5, 10, 15. She can't do that, she can't do that. Or that. Are you telling, trying to tell me she has legendary actions? I swear to God. <laughs> no. No. Uh, trust me, if, if she did, I'm pretty sure you all would have died already. Um... <laughs> fifth level spells were a bitch. <laughs> I need a deck saving throw, please, Valoran. Oh wait, it's not her turn. I don't know why I did that. Wait. Yeah, no, yeah, it's, it's not, not her it's turn. not her turn. Sorry. Fuck, I got rid of that. Yeah, she just had her turn before Val Valoran. Yep, that's my bad. I don't know why I was doing that. Uh Zin, you're up. Yeah, athletics at advantage. Yep. You're you managed to uh break enough of this web that you can kind of uh, wriggle free. I want to break free. <laughs> nice. Okay. Um, I'm going to use half my movement to stand up. Indeed. And 5, 10, 15 feet. And that's all I can do because I'd use my action to get break free. So that's it. Do rangers not have cunning action? No, we're not cool enough. At least my ranger doesn't have one. Oh, fair enough. Ren! <clears throat> yeah, so she's going to start moving. 5, 10, 15, 20, 5, 30, 5, 40. Uh -huh. um, and then she will dash, uh, but she's going to go based off of the fact that she roughly knows where the center is and smell. So, perception? Give me a perception. <laughs> oh, not advantage. You know she's in there somewhere, but where? You have no idea. All right. Well, we're dashing blindly. Cool. As you enter, give me a d20. You want this okay. to be high. D20. About. <sighs> it's not high. Oh, no. Ren runs into something. She's not sure what. Okay, uh, she only has bonus action, so you, she can bite with bonus action correctly, mm -hmm. correct? So she will do that, not knowing what it is. Not advantage, sorry. Just a 12. Oh, you managed to catch some fur in your mouth. As you kind of, as, as Ren kind of spits it out, realizing that that is probably not the one she wants to attack. Oh, so, so, sorry, Val. She have any yeah, more movement? A, uh, well, I guess she'll. Yeah, she, well, she, technically she does, so she'll keep trying to go towards the center, I guess, towards it. <clears throat> she should have another 30 feet, so. Give me another d20. <laughs> Give me a. <clears throat> Con save. She runs face first into this wall. <laughs> okay. Is that at uh, 10 feet of movement? <laughs> at full speed. She takes <clears throat> six. Uh, well, we're going to call it. It's no, not much different than fall damage. So it's not resistant on this one. That's fair. Um, she okay. slams into this with uh, face first. Um, give me a dex save to stay on your feet. Nope, she falls down. Yeah, she backs up another five feet as she's trying to hold her feet and she goes prone. <clears throat> okay, so technically she has 20 left, correct now? Because she had 30, used 10 there. Yep. Stands back up, has 10. Uh, no, it would be uh, half of the original movement, so it would be... Oh, okay. So, so zero. you got five feet left. Five feet? Okay. Oh, wait, no, she sorry. Will... Your movement is 20, isn't it? Her, her, movement's, her movement's 40. 40. So, yeah, yeah it would cost 20 to stand back up. Okay, 
So then she just stands back up, and that is her turn. Ray. Hello? Okay, I'm going to move. Okay, so this globe thing, you can, like, see the outer side of it, right? So you can, like, see, like, a black nothingness. Yes. Okay, so where I am standing, I could see it. You can Maybe. see the globe, yes. I believe so. Let me check. I'm pretty sure you can, though. Uh, Not quite. You'd have to move another five feet up to be able to see it. Well, I guess you, know, you, you, I guess you could probably see a little bit of it. Yeah, you see a little bit of it. What if I moved there? Can I see it more? Oh no! I... Yeah, you can get a better angle on it. Okay, if I were to use, could I use my entangle? Maybe is that a thing? You post a spell for me? Um, I would say you would have to be able to see it, so you'd be able to cast it right on the edge of the sphere. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to abort that mission. Because I don't want them to get stuck in it, too. Is this a magical item you said that she's holding? But We don't know if she's holding it, but it's... Can I use Dispel Magic and get rid of this globe? I don't know, can you? What's it say? You tell me. Do you think you can use that to get rid of it? I mean, like, it's a creature within range, because I know who ha who's inside there. Can't see the creature, though. Keep keep reading. Oh, yeah, it would be a magical effect, so I could just be like, globe, go away. You, you get within sight of the globe. You cast this spell. You see two lycanthropes chasing this drow priestess. And as the globe vanishes, she pauses, she turns around, eyes wide. What would you like to do? Bonus action movement. If you have any movement left. No, I don't have any movement left. Um, I think that's it for me. Having no other options. She starts to chant. The here's an okay. Fifty percent chance of success, huh? Oh, thirty percent chance. I'm not rolling shit, so don't even ask. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want that evil. Not today, man. She looks back at these two lycanthropes. If you're going to kill me, I'll bring forth something to please Lalith. So when I join her, 
I may become one of her true children. So, 30% chance means he needs to roll, she needs to roll a 71 or higher. Fingers crossed. For the knot. She rolled it. She fuck. made it. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I quit. I'm out of this game forever. Bye. This is like never ending nightmare happening uh, right now. Just give me one sec. Uh, apparently, I got a raid just stopped in. I mean, thanks for, uh, thanks for coming in. Fade of Dice. Appreciate you. Uh, we're, uh, I mean, we got about, uh, just under roughly about 20 minutes left in this session. We had a character death, um, a revivify. We have had a, uh, um, we, it was a, it was a gnarly combat. I mean, like, you know, <laughs> all of those first time they didn't steamroll everything. So this, this was a pretty good fight. Okay. So she summons a demon. Otherwise, summon demon appears on the uh, even summoner acts an ally of its summoner can't summon other mean demons. I okay, well, which fucking demon is it? You know what? Uh, priests usually summon yakuls. I believe they're called. Give me a second. Yeah, yakul. Oh, we're not summoning that one. Elder one is going to be a little bit too much, I think. Yeah, like, give us maybe this, a little at, bit of a chance. This, at this point, I feel like there's not a lot that isn't too much for us. We're not exactly vibrant out here. Uh, what? It is not recognizing my shadow command. That's upsetting. Um, I'm gonna have to fix that after, I guess. Um, <clears throat> a very strange creature. Almost looks like a, a tree covered in ooze, although its branches continue to move. It has a singular eye. Does it speak? It speaks. Nothing. It appears in front of you. And she says, Maybe that will keep you company. And she is going to. I need to roll it in. That is a nine. Um, Mr. Valoran, as she takes off, you and your lycanthrope self may make an attack of opportunity if you like. Get look, her, Val. Look at that. You finally Get hit. Her. You finally hit. Oh, and you didn't hit fucking weak either. Holy shit. As she goes to turn and run, you reach out. And do you want to describe this or do you want me to? Please do. She spins away from you, and you, as she goes to move, you reach in with your large maw, and you bite into the back of her neck. You lift her up, and you shake her like a dog trying to break uh, its prey's, uh, or like a wolf trying to break its prey's neck, and you hear a sickening crack, and her body, although her head is still exactly in your mouth, the, the body kind of like spins around um and it's kind of like slapping either side of you as you um rip it apart then you drop it on the ground and now it's your turn mr valoran and i believe you need to make a wisdom roll just did oh wisdom's safe 
Yeah, it wasn't safe. Yeah, that's goddamn. Look at you. Look, now you rolling high, huh? Here we go. Yeah, after all the shit's over. Almost. All right, so you recognize that it is red next to you. I am aiming for the, uh... Wow, shit. For the thing next to me on the east. Sure. And, yeah, that was it. There's my second, and that misses too. So, yeah, I'm useless. That's my turn. Sorry, I'm trying to fix my stat block here so I can actually see it. Oh, I know why. There we go. Now I fixed it. I was using the wrong command for shout out. Okay, so. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, neither of those hit. Uh, you do happen to get a, um, a claw full of, like, this strange grime. Do I have an extra action, like a free action? Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, you're not able to use it to attack, but what do you want to do? Well, it's a tree and I'm a dog. No, I can't. <laughs> I can't, I can't. You just want to piss on oh everything. <laughs> That's the end of my turn. I'm done. We're good. I just couldn't resist the thought. Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, let's see. What's it got here? Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Seeing which one of you is healthier, Renovok. Yep. I need a wisdom saving throw. Okay. All right, so all of a sudden, Renovok kind of tenses up for a moment. Uh, if you are a creature that you are friendly to, fighting it has advantage. You know what? Um, Ren probably had the... You, Ren may give one more roll to make it advantage, then it's obviously ah. something she's going to want to fight. Yeah, it's nope. even worse. <laughs> Ren gets a command in her head. A feeling. Attack that creature. And it begins to put some distance. What is its movement speed? Attack opportunity? Yeah. Yeah, he may. He can totally give an attack of opportunity. Get him, Val. That's a hit. Give me your damage. Hey, concentration save? Right. Yeah, sure. Rolling that one? <laughs> no. Not in that one. Nice. Are your claws magical damage as a lycanthrope? I don't think there are, are they? So. I don't think so, no. Are you sure they're just normal puppy claws? Yeah. Zen. It's your turn. Yeah. Okay, 5, 10, 15, 20. Whoops, 25 is right there, sorry, 30. Can I see that? You Probably look. Not, right? Uh. Oh, that's not the right way to think. Uh, no. No, you cannot, sir, unfortunately. Um, what you do notice, however, 
is Ren kind of <laughs> and she's raising an axe at Valoran. Of course she is. Um Did did I hear the summoning of this thing? Probably not either. Okay, I'm gonna dash. Um, five, ten, fifteen. Do I see this thing now? If you're talking, you're muted. Sounds like tacit consent. Okay, sorry, my microphone was muted. Um, That's fine. So give me uh, advantage per, uh, perception. You can probably see it, but these two figures in front of you are rather large. Gotcha. Yep, that's fine. I just wanted to... Yep. Okay, so I can see it, so I am going to attempt to no ignore my allies for 5, 10, 15, because that's as far as I can go with my full dash and everything. Um, right. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. One second. Um, might be an interesting... I'm going to cast Hunter's Mark on it. No damage there, sorry. <clears throat> Hunter's Mark. Good, good luck getting away from me now. Okay. And that has to be my turn. Oh, right, you had to dash, right? Yep, yep. It's Ren's turn. Can we? Zin, uh, you watch yeah, so she... as she raises her axe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a hit. I'm good. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. First one. Her axe isn't magical, right? Or does it, it have a... It is magical. It is? Yeah, because she has that thaumaturgy thing that with it. Oh, that's right. That's a shame. Yep. So you, she swings again. Zin, you watch as... Uh, As she brings Valoran low. The second one, I'm pretty sure, knocks you out cold. I'm not saying anything old, but even if it's one point of damage, it would. So, yeah. Yeah, it was. Not, uh, like... Yeah, it was another 11. Oh, yeah, then I'm out. Bye bye. Okay. Now, what happens with her? Well, all target is shy, yada, yada, yada. Uh, does its best to obey. You can specify a simple and general course of action, such as attack creature, yada, yada, yada. And it is no action required. Yeah, but still turn-based, correct? Uh, no, not for no action required command. It's it's the same as, like, um, how you can command Yukon on her turn. Or, sorry, um, not you, um... Ray can have her wolves do whatever she wants. Um, but it doesn't have to be. It can she can give their command on their turn. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ren gets another voice. As she stands there looking over Valon. <laughs> you see the rage in her eyes. She's starting to foam at the mouth. And she looks at you, Zen, as she gets another order. 
She's all she's got left. Kill to your nearest allies until they're all gone. She misses me. She steps up for a bite, and you kind of uh, you manage to dodge out of the way. <laughs> Question: How does she get three attacks? Bonus action attack while she's like throw up for biting. Oh, okie dokie. Because you get one for bonus action, correct? Or would it, That's true. Oh, no, you're right, you're right. Yeah. Did you say anything to Ren, by the way, as uh, this was going down? Uh, well, like, as she's attacking her allies? Yeah, and then coming oh, at Oh, yeah, you. I'd be like, I'd like, no, what are you doing? Please, stop. I didn't. I didn't know I could say stuff to her in the midst of actions. Sure. Ray, give me a perception as your turn begins. Also, do we have a hard stop at 530 or do you guys want to go until this uh, this is over? We we have a hard stop at 530. because Yeah, we have training in a half an hour. Okay. Yeah. But we can go like a couple more minutes. Uh, yeah. We'll try and get turn order done then, and then we'll uh, cut it off then. Uh, yeah, you don't hear what's going on. Um, you but I you, know you would have se- you would have seen Ren, um, attack Valoran and then move and attack something else. Though I don't think you can see what she's attacking from your current angle. But you wouldn't hear what's going on, what's being said. Yeah, no, you wouldn't quite be able to see what she was attacking after Valoran. But go ahead, take your turn. I'm going to move. Um, I'd like to use Entangle on this thing, this creature thing, this yawkle. Sure. What kind of uh, save is it? Point within, oops, point within range. Duration, these plants turn the ground in an area of difficult terrain. Creature in the area when you cast spell must see strength saving throw. Okay. And uh, it is 20 foot square. Make it a green. Okay, did they change how you make this thing pop out or what? No, it might be depending on what your push talk is, it might have an issue. Um, but I, I drew a square. Where do you want it? I would like for it to start right on the square that that thing is on. And then go down the hall away from us. Oh, so you want it to start there? Yeah. Oh, I think she's trying to get the restrained part in there too. All right. So like that? Uh, yep. Okay. Uh, when you cast spell strength saving throw, huh? And this is a magical ability, so it has advantage. It did not need advantage. Give me another perception, Miss Ray. It does it did not seem to have any effect on this creature. Got anything else? Um, no, but if it doesn't have an, like, it can move or it's not, like, rough terrain or anything for it. There we cast spell. Uh, or be restrained. Creature restrained by the plants. No. Well, the difficult terrain happens no matter what. So she basically she's asking if it looks like he's being slowed by it. 
No. Because it's two separate text. It does not. Okay, well, I just wasted a spell. I'm just going to drop it, and that's my turn. <laughs> I bleed aggressively. <laughs> uh, what's been your death saving throw, Mr. Valoran? Okay. No memory. Um, you, even in your unconscious state, uh, you're pretty sure you can hear the battle going on around you. And you are partially happy that Ren took you out as you might still end up attacking allies. But at the same time, you're probably a little bit upset about it. But things are kind of starting to fade sounds are fading let's see oh my begins to move. You see it kind of crawls about 10 feet up the wall. And then starts to go down the wall. Gets to here. It's in. It pauses for a moment. Yep. And I'm going to copy and paste something from this spell that it used. Okay. It's the order. No, uh. Mm, no, actually, it's not going to do that. Never mind. That'd be redundant. Uh, so, yeah, it is then just going to simply. Do a dash. And that is the end of turn order, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Uh, from my knowledge, which way did I see it go? Uh, that direction. I would have seen it go. I would have seen it go left or right, is what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Thank that, you. Just that, so I make note of it. Yep. Because I won't like if I start next session, I'm going to see a blank hallway and be like, where did it go again? So. Yeah, so what we're going to do is I'm going to put some stuff here in chat. Uh, just... Person with All right. and give me a moment to outro the stream and we will be back I'll be back in just a moment. Well, everybody. Thank you for those of you who joined me. Thank you for uh, the raid from Fate of the Dice. Uh, appreciate you guys coming in and hanging out. Uh, I do still have an Adventures uh, of Wild Adventures in Wild Mount tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Eastern. 
And on Monday, I believe we are finishing up our four player game of Baldur's Gate 3. Definitely uh, tune in for that. And we will see you guys then. Remember, everybody? Savager, go the fuck home. Peace.